Hey everybody, I'm Sheila, and if you have an autoimmune disorder like I do, you know how challenging life can be due to the physical, emotional, environmental restrictions. So one of the things that I find that really affects me is the synthetic fragrances. And just by making changes with that alone can improve, greatly improve the quality of your life and help you to enjoy more freedom in your life. So let's just think back. Oh my goodness, have you ever, ever gone into a store? Maybe it's a scented candle store, or maybe you've gone into a restaurant or a theater wanting to just enjoy some time and recreation only to come out with this major heaviness in your head. It's like a headache, like a vice all over your head or at the base of your head maybe. Or maybe you're experiencing this deep, deep feeling of hunger in the pit of your stomach. And or you can't even think straight. It's like even to drive is almost dangerous. And that headache kind of even can go into the next day or two. Uh-huh, you've just experienced a toxic hangover. And I have had this many times. It's not fun. It takes a couple days out of my life. And I want to enjoy every life and every minute that I have if possible. But why is that? Why do these things affect us? Well, one of the things is that fragrance has hundreds of different chemicals in it that manufacturers do not even need to label, put on their labels. It's all about air quality, friends. Air quality. Fragrances are all around us. And even though they think air quality improved because they restricted smoking in areas. They have so many non-smoking areas now. Let me tell you, friends, synthetic fragrances are the new elephant in the room. They are the new secondhand smoke. You can Google that. And it's everywhere. It's because it's everywhere. No matter where we go, we're breathing it in. It's on our clothing. It's in our all the products that we use, shampoo, soaps, cleaning products, laundry products, so that any place you go, anyone who has used these products, you're smelling them. You think you're going into this nice restaurant, you've got this nice space by yourself, then someone comes in and sits right next to you, and it's so strong, it, it, it makes it not enjoyable anymore. And you might think, oh, I'll just look for a fragrance free or no fragrance added. That doesn't work anymore because they just add a fragrance masker, which is another chemical. And thinking that because if we, it's all in our mind, that if we don't smell it, it's not going to affect us. But the toxins are still there. The chemicals are still there. It's, the point is not whether we smell it or not. It's what we're taking in. It's those chemicals that's the problem that we're taking in. So really, by reducing this new secondhand smoke, that's how we're going to improve a huge area of our life because it's everywhere. And yeah, we, can't, we cannot control what everybody else does, but we can control what we put on our bodies so that when we are around other people, our body can be a little bit stronger to handle it. So... No matter where you go, to a restaurant, to a movie, I mean, they put it in even into the air circulation system so that you might be isolated in that movie theater, but you're still smelling it in because they have it in the air ventilation system. So there are ways and products that can be used. Um, if you loved what you learned here, just click on the link below and it'll take you to my blog where you can have more information. But I would love, if you've had experiences like this, I would love, love, love for you to comment in the section below, in the comment section. I wanna hear what your experiences are and see what we have in common here. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Have a great day.